All right, we are finally almost ready to ride. It only took me 18 hours to get situated and fixed up. But we are here today at Settler's Cabin Park in uh, west of the city here in Robinson, Pennsylvania, or technically, yeah, it's Robinson, I guess. Top of the hill here, right, right outside of Bayer's campus. And uh, we got enough air, right? Yeah. The last time I was here, it was uh, kind of just a nightmare. Uh, the trails, we rode a decent amount, maybe 20, uh, 2020 or so, or sorry, 2018, 2019. Um, and then the trails just kept getting worse and worse. Um, there's some good trails here, uh, but they just weren't being maintained well. And this wasn't a good steward, you know, nobody was really dedicated to fixing these up. Um, so I saw a comment the other day that these trails are looking better than they ever have or better than they have in a long time. I figured I'd get out here and check it out. My, my uh, bike is uh, was caked in mud on Sunday and uh, I can feel that in the, the gears. I pressure washed it but I didn't re-lube the chain or anything so we'll see how it rides. Oh, my seat feels low too. Ran yesterday, so my legs are tight. I did bring my little folding stall, so if the trails are in bad shape, we can at least move some felled trees or something. What I remember about this is just that it held, ooh, it held water so, uh, you know, the drain was so poor, so at any time it rained for two weeks, it would just be peanut butter down at the bottom of some of these spots. So this trail here is always pretty good. Um, you can tell it doesn't get used too much just from all the leaves here. But yeah, um, I'm hoping that some of the real muddy spots that used to exist have, have been reworked or repaired in some way. There are some big hiking trails or like Montour Trail I think runs through here. So there are some wider rails to trail style biking. But the single track always was pretty fun. Um, just wasn't incredibly well maintained. But I can't talk. Cause I wasn't out here doing anything either. Oh, nope. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I could do it. I did look off the post on tonight. I didn't see any trail reports here. Um, other than that one post on the High Speed Dirt Facebook page, um, there haven't been any trail forks or MTB project reports since at least 2022. Some of them were older. So, so far, it's looking pretty nice. Again, the more muddy parts are farther down. I mean, they used to use this a lot. They were really building it up. There was a month of mud race here, I think, one of the years. It is part of the Pittsburgh, <coughs> excuse me, I ate a bug there. It's part of the Trail Pittsburgh uh, lineup of parks.
we've got a abnormally warm 70 degree day here in late October. So, trying to take advantage of that and uh, get out and ride. So, hopefully, these trails are fun and fast today. I don't remember any trail names here other than colors. They're all blazed and there's kind of a one big outer loop with some shoot with some offshoots, but I didn't look at the map or anything today. We'll be going solely based on uh, memory and hopefully this garment will turn on. Just started that, so we lost a mile or two. No big deal. Uh, let's do this one. So this is a offshoot that goes down. I think it pulls right back up to that trail we just left, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh my. <laughs> if we can find it. Hopefully the crackling leaves don't come through too harshly on this new mic setup I'm running. They are loud. This is neat though. I hate that winter's coming, but the colors of fall and the seasons change are fun. I wish we'd just skip right over to spring though. There's that hard climb up if you want it. This goes down along the creek, I think. I remember this place better than I thought I would. There's a climb on the other side, on the left side of this hill here, coming out of this, I believe. Eventually you can get over to the waterfall. They might call one of these trails a wheel well. There might be a wheel well here, or, or I'm getting confused with Moon Park, who knows? Or uh, Hollow Woods. Montour Woods. All right. Here's the muddy soup, but honestly, not bad. We just had a big rain here over the weekend, everything was pretty wet. Um, South Park on Saturday wasn't too bad, but then uh, did some riding out in Claysville at Tower Hill on Sunday, and it was a mess. So it's Wednesday now, we've had a few nice warm October days to cool off, and we're gonna do our best not to get lost as the sun goes down. I did bring some lights in case we need them. But the dark, uh, even with a light, it'd be hard to find a trail like this. This is cool though. This is in great shape. Unfortunately, where I parked there, right off to the right side, the first parking lot at the entrance here, um, these at the top of the hill, so you do get to end on a fun climb, which I always hate to do. I think the loop here is eight miles, I want to say. Oh, and that's all I've got. 
That's not good. My legs are tired and my bike is grinding. Well, we just had a nice descent from the car, so had to pay for it at some point. Glad I brought the DJI mic out today. It's only my second time riding with it, but the GoPro on these leaves would have been an awful listening experience. So hopefully the DJI sounds good. I mean, it's a good stress test if nothing else. All right, so this, I think we actually want to be down there. If I remember, um, there's a trail down there. Leads into the next. I think this takes us up to the one shelter, but although it doesn't look like that trail really exists anymore. Let's stay with this. I know I used to blow right by this, straight into those woods over there. Things have changed. Maybe I'm thinking of up here. I think, yeah, I am. So this takes you to the parking lot, not where I parked, but a parking lot. I think this run here is the one I said would meet up with when I dropped into the right back there. And this takes us across to the rest of the park. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. That's fun. Oh, I just sunk in about six inches there. All right. If that's the only mud, there's nothing to hate on there. I mean, so far, I've been missing out by not riding. I don't know how long it's been fixed up. Yeah, we're gonna go. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're gonna stay straight. Well, hold on, hold on. What do we got here? Hard left is what we want to just made. No, I don't think it will. I'm going to stay this way. Come on, Jane. Go lower. Here we go. I am the grand champion of getting lost. So, try to stick with the path most traveled today. But yeah, as I was saying, this is, um, this is great. This is, I literally have to pass this place to uh, go home from work. So I used to love coming here, especially on the weekdays. You don't go out of your way and waste time driving. You can just ride. Oh, nice. And to have this back is huge. And I should have been spending more time trying to uh, keep these trails going. I know I will have to going forward. So thank you to whoever's working on it. These are Fantastic. I mean, it used to be that either the trees were down, nothing was cut back, or most likely you were just stuck in inches of mud the entire time. So to have all three of those eliminated is huge. And clearly nobody knows, not enough people know that it's back because you wouldn't see all these leaves everywhere. Oh yeah. Man, this is fantastic. You guys have seen how little climbing I've done so far. What a fun start. I mean, that's damn near three miles at least. They left that will take us down to the road it looks like
Oh, back up my toe stuck on that rock. That always feels good. I mean, this is impressive. I mean, I just went through the damn creek and there's not a lick of mud. This is bravo. This is exciting. All right, we're getting punished for it now. Punchy little climb. Do you remember this part? I believe this is the road we crossed on the way in. It's the very least the road coming from the upper parking lot. And I remember wanting to go this way. We'll loop back around this way. But, it, oh, this is just a climb. Never mind. We go to the right here eventually. <clears throat> this is just whether or not you want to do a direct climb or an S turn. This used to be called the Yellow Trail. Maybe it still is. And I thought there was a downhill part of it. Yeah, Yellow Trail ahead. All right, at least the GPS thinks so. <clears throat> Maybe the downhill is coming the other way. Although I'm not sure how. We're gonna get the light out here just so the GoPro can, so the GoPro can see. It does not like filming in low light, that's for sure. It'll probably get real grainy for you. I've not been paying attention to the blazes. Great yellow and red. It says purple ahead. Oh, I'm tired.
Oh, Jagger got me. This would be just perfect in the winter. A bit frozen with snow cover. I hate riding. I hate being outside when it's cold, but I've got a lot of places I want to hit this year. So I may have to suck it up and get some warm riding clothes and extend the season a bit. Downhill's better. climb back up this. <laughs> I think the left would have been the right choice on both choices I just made there. Left on the uh, initial trail choice and then left on the downhill choice as well. See if we can shift down. All right. That was steep. That was fun. So far, I've not even really been given the option to get lost. The splits that I've split off from have always come back together. There may be a, maybe a few different offshoots that I didn't take, but they're pretty obvious. there's a way you see people putting those rubber duckies on their bikes but and maybe this maybe this is what they're doing i assume those are just zip tied on i would like something that always tries to point up so if you had a weighted bottom it would always point vertically so that when you are going down the steep descent and the gopro doesn't see it very well you can see that the bars were you know the bike is tilted 40 degrees down the hill because whatever meter is here is pointing like that you know not perpendicular to the bike that'd be neat honestly that'd be good for yourself to try and get some sort of numbers to it too you could grade how you're climbing this same hill same uh, angle of a hill versus others without just guessing Maybe we'll 3D print something up. Should just be something that can spin freely. You know, you have one clamp piece, you have an outer collar that can spin freely. You put a little bit of weight in the bottom side of it so that it would always try to fall as long as the, as long as it's able to spin freely enough. And you could have some gauges on there for degrees of rotation and you'd know if it was uh, pushed forward relative to the bars, it was uphill. I mean, you know, uphill or downhill, but you only had that to reference. Maybe I'll look into something like that. You'd have to keep it tight enough that your bumps aren't jostling it crazily. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect either. But who knows?
Oh, waterfall trail. Well, where do these rocks go to? If I go right, it's not on my map. There's a sign, let's go read it. I do not have a speed. Oh, oh. Ben, there you go. You can do this. We'll get him from the other way. What do we got? Sensitive natural area. Please help us protect our family's designated trails. Got some trails up there. I'm not gonna do that yet. Maybe this weekend we'll come back and check those out. I think Sunday I should have some time. Oh, it's supposed to rain a little. We will go across this way to the waterfall. <laughs> Woo. We did it. Those are tricky. Those are not uh, conducive to just rolling on over. You gotta move your body around on them. Another little rock. This is great. I don't think those used to exist in my memory. I don't think I had a GoPro the last time I was here. I know that takes you out to the waterfall. We might be able to go that way or we might end up going back that. Let's see, I think you can go past the waterfall on the bike. No water falling. Did they divert a bunch of water from this area? I mean, we had a decent rain. Not crazy, but So the trail does continue on. Um, if you go around that way, we're gonna go back up and climb probably the way we should. I think this, I'm pretty sure this used to be more water falling. But yeah, I kind of remember you being able to go up right through that little gap. <laughs> Not happening. Be fun coming down. Come on, here we go. Oh, this would be real fun coming down. I wonder if that trail that went across the stones there loops back around to here. That would honestly be uh, a nice way of doing it. This looks like all new fence here, relatively new fence too. I mean, whoever's doing this, I mean, I'm sure it's through uh, the trail Pittsburgh in some way obviously they're running it but they've done it with little fanfare at least for the mountain biking community as far as I know I haven't seen anything about it but they've done a hell of a job obviously these are mixed use trails to so hike bike whatever but they are awesome And honestly, a little more technical than a lot of things you can get around here. Um, trying to think what they equate to. Uh, a lot of it is pretty simple, um, but some of these uphills are steep and punchy, and some of these downhills are steep and rooty. And obviously, you got some uh, little rock bridges there that are not, you know, even compared to 276 at Frick, they are. Uh, 
not, they don't flow nearly as well as that one does. So a great place to come if you're uh, oh, excuse me, looking for something a little tougher in one of the local parks. Sorry for the uh, gaps between words there. The breath needs to come from somewhere. Yeah, that looks fresh cut over there for sure, what we just climbed up. Awesome. I wonder if we can talk to anybody at the Parks Department, and if it's even called the Parks Department. Talk to somebody who's in charge of this and get their story of what happened and what changed and what made them pick up this work again. Or was it just due up on the to-do list and they've decided to, to do a great job at it. Even in its prime, I don't know, the prime while I was riding in the late 2010s, it was never this good. Not by a long shot. Oh, the bike is dragging. Not me, the bike. All right, maybe both of us, but man, can you feel that change just grinding on something? Honestly, this gear is easier. That sucks. Might be time for the lights. Oh, I'm not seeing dark mode on the GPS yet this year. I think we are right here, but let's stop. Whew. Where did I park? Up at the top here. I started late, but I parked up there. All right, we're heading back that way. Oh, not too far. So you can always add in this blue circle, a blue trail, I mean, if you want. I don't think I'm going to today. Oh, maybe we will. Because we're gonna end up coming up out here. And in the past, I've just hit the roads, taking that right back. I've done blue circle as well, I believe. But maybe we'll do that today. We got the lights on. Get nowhere else to be, so let's get those out. Leafy, but the camera here is just god awful in any dark environment. So,
missing something here? Come on. I'll put it on backwards too, you idiot. Does it spin? Nope. Oh, wait. Good enough. All right, I haven't ridden the lights in a long time. If I'm only riding one light, if you're going out to get lights, if I'm only riding one, I like to put on the helmet. Otherwise, uh, that way you can see where you're going. Where is this one shining? Oh, right in front of me, okay. So if you're just riding, I don't know how much you can see, but basically if you're riding like this, the light goes to the bike, obviously. If you have the helmet one here, the light goes where you're looking. Um, I prefer having both. It does make, uh, as you're cornering, you can look ahead, but you can always look back down quickly and have light already on the trail. Um, but if you can only do one, put it on the helmet. My God, this is great. A little chilly now that I stopped. Hard to complain though for October 25th or whatever date it is. Have four miles in. Maybe my guess of uh, an eight mile loop was not right. We actually got another, I don't know, mile and a half on top of that probably. So five and a half, if we do the blue, maybe it does work out to eight or so. Oh my God, I did not see that. Oh, <laughs> how's my little light doing? Oh, hold on a sec. Is that just because I had the light on? I, it was completely out of my vision. Yeah, I, probably would have been okay. I mean, I'm short. I'm on 27 fives. And, and uh, I wonder if we can trim that back. Take that there, that's coming with, I mean, this is dead. Well, that there's in rough shape. I think we could do something about that. I mean, I hate to take out features, but I don't know if that's really a feature. It's right outside your line of sight, and uh, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, that is. We take that off though, does the other branch fall too? Oh geez, it just came. Okay, so this is all, this is all dead. Let's get rid of some of this.
<laughs> oh my, don't you love that? Okay, so if we just, I mean, how much, this is all pretty much scrap. How much does it hurt just to get rid of? Got a little bit grown off that. I think we're just gonna go for it. Um, let's take this little piece out here. Somebody yell at me if I'm not supposed to do this, but. And then, you just take this piece right here. That's better. Well, well if you see this, and that was the wrong move, let me know. Um, it's pretty good to me. And to prevent more head injuries. But uh I know some people I'm even hit it and you don't want to be just moving stuff for no reason. Hopefully that was the right thing to do and uh, I'm sure I'll hear about it if it wasn't. That was whew. How often you just get, you, you remember how fast you move through the world when you get your head ripped back or walk into a door or just punch the wall when you're moving at what you thought was normal speed. All right, where's my hat at? There. Quick. <clears throat> I think I put my saw back in my bag, hopefully. We are going to skip the blue loop today. Let's head back to the truck. There's not much more there's not many more things creepier than being alone in the woods 
in the dark, especially when you haven't been alone in the woods in the dark for a long time. So that is something you have to learn to get comfortable with. And I am not there yet. I think this would be the blue loop. Yep, we're gonna stay straight. Come on. This would be fun coming down. My goodness, I gotta fix this transmission. Oh, really just the oh, chain and maybe shifter, we'll see. Lube would help. Oh, what a little climb there. The sun goes down and uh, all your energy goes away. And that's why I hate winter. All right. Whew. Fastest way to the truck. Go left and then right at the next stop sign. Ride the roads. Blue trail goes back into those woods there. Uh, loops around and then goes through those, comes back this way. We will save that for another day. All in all, though, I'm impressed. I really couldn't be happier with the, with the way it all looks. That's awesome. A little too late for uh, too much <clears throat> after work enjoyment for the season, but um, weekends for sure, and uh, going into next year, it's good to know this is around. Especially with the uh, time shift coming up here soon. This will be pitch black at 6.45. <laughs> oh, that sucks. This will be the 5.45 light in two weeks, week and a half. Whoops, it wanted me to go a little farther. It's all right, ah, maybe not. Just, uh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> 